that had these type of symptoms that was going through this. So when I got a hold of social media and saw that people were going through this, at first I thought, wow, I finally see people like me. But when I look further, you know, I noticed that although we had the same disease, we didn't view things the same. So you got to really be careful with what you're looking at and listening to. You want to remain as positive as, as possible. And if that's not what you're getting when you're visiting these sites, you might want to take a second look at it. You need to find someone that is positive and you, you can talk about lupus and still have a positive outlook, you know, and that's why I love the campaign of a lupus champion. And I had someone tell me I was a champion. And that, that, you know, and I see why they could tell me that, but I see what they, what they saw in me. I see in others, we are champions. You have to embrace that. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. Now, what would you tell family members who really don't understand about how this illness can affect our body? I would tell them to attend support groups with, with, with your loved one that has lupus. If possible, attend support group meetings. Um, that you're, you're really going to get a better understanding what really goes on mentally and physically with your loved one. If you, if you can find a way to attend these and they need the support. We need the, we do, we need the support. If you could go, maybe, you know, my parent, my uh, family, they've only gone really to one. And it's just like their eyes were open, uh, even though I had been telling them these things all these years, to hear it coming from someone else, it's like their eyes were open. Well, I didn't really understand what you were going through, is what they told me. They didn't really understand. But to just to hear it sometimes, just to hear it from someone else and to see will help. All right, this has been a Lupus Champion story, and I would like to thank you so much for joining us on My Story Living with Lupus, Miss Towns. Thank you, Miss Susan, for having me. All right. Abundant Harvest Aquaponics. Planting seeds to grow food and creating opportunities for people and families. You can contact this nonprofit organization at www.abundantharvestaquaponics.org. If you would like to appear on an episode of My Story Living with Lupus, you can contact us at mystorylivingwithlupus at gmail.com. Also visit us on our Instagram page and also our website, My Story Living with Lupus. champion. We as true champions maintain our fire regardless of what tries to put it out. You see when lupus knocks us down as a champion we get up even when we can't. When those flares attack our body and the pain and the uncertainty has come. As a true champion that we are, we will fight through anything. We as champions don't count the days. We make each and every day count. You see, we possess the mark of great champions because we have the ability to come back from defeat. Just think of it this way. If you rose up this morning 
and have the function of your mind, eyes, arms, ears, hands, legs, feet, and mouth, regardless if you're in pain. And you have the ability to say, thank you, God, for your grace and mercy. And you really have a grateful heart. You are a champion. And know that God is not through with any of us yet. You see, we get in a boxing ring every day. This boxing ring is called Living with Lupus. Sometimes it knocks us down, but we rise up. We rise up like the day. We rise up in spite of the pain. We rise up a thousand times again. Don't allow anyone to tell your story. Only you can. So won't you rise up and allow your voice to be heard in this fight. I thank you for joining me for another episode of my story, Living with Lupus. I'm your host, Susan Hendricks, and may you continue to be blessed and rise up. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. And you can't find a fighter, but I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out. We gon' walk it out and move on days. Silence is it quiet And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we would take the world to its feet Move I won't take Bring it to its feet Move I won't take I will
the views and opinions expressed on My Story Living with Lupus podcast are each individual's experience. By listening to this podcast or reading our blog, you agree not to use this podcast or blog as medical advice to treat any medical condition in either yourself or others. As always, consult your own physician for any medical issues that you may be having. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.